there's many pictures of the family and uh, sort of all the special occasions that we had. So it brings back a lot of memories every time I come back down here. When I was in Nico, my son was in the street. When I was in the street, I bread. E a prendi di bread di home. Quando io mi vedia non mi sassata, o pane finia. <laughs> besti pizza, besti Francesco <laughs> e besti nonna. Mua. What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Frank Pinello. I'm the owner of Best Pizza in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And I'm here today with my lovely grandmother, Nonna Bascuzza Pinello. So what are we making today, Nonna? Okay, oggi facciamo cotoletti di chicken. I grew up eating these chicken cutlets. After that, we're gonna make a special little lemon sauce. And this lemon dressing that my grandmother's been making for years kind of pops up all the time. Sometimes it pops up on chicken, sometimes it'll pop up on meat. There's definitely some special little nuance to them, and we're gonna walk you through some of those steps. And today I have two of my favorite audience members with me, Isabel and Olivia. So the first thing is we have our chicken and the chicken is ready. It's cut nice and thin. And the chicken cutlet we got from the butcher. What she does is takes the chicken and she bathes them in a little bit of salt water. And as, as we all know as cooks, that's basically a brine. But for many years, she's been doing it just to keep the chicken nice and clean. Un po' lo ha dentro l'acqua pa un'ora. Un'ora già l'acqua e dopo lo levo, ci metto l'acqua pulita e metto a scolare, non scola pasta. We're gonna break our eggs inside of a bowl and beat them up a little bit. And what's the secret, Nona? Get me to add into a bowl. She mette just a lova e un cucchiaio di formaggio. A lot of years and a lot of tricks, you know. From there, we go over to the breadcrumb, uh, breadcrumb from the local bakery over here on 17th Avenue. We spice that up a little bit as well. Farina, un po' di pepe, un po' di formaggio. Formaggio e e passo. And a little bit of parsley. La farina da da mudica. I cotoletti vengono soffici, vengono più grossi e vengono più soffici. Nonna, per il chicken cutlet, c'è un recipe? Come? Un recipe, c'è un recipe? <laughs> Everything is right here, right, nonna? No, no, là io non ho il recipe. Yeah. <laughs> she turns 90 in two weeks. We're having a big party over here at Il, Col uh, Il Colasso, right on uh, 18th Avenue. We're gonna go from there to the casino because there's nothing more that my grandmother loves to do than play slots. Okay. Tutte, tutte okay, we're gonna put everything inside. Si, si, metti. My grandmother is a boss, let me tell you that straight off. If something's not going her way, she will be sure to correct. We're gonna put all the chicken okay. right inside. Okay. And give it a nice bath. Okay, perfect. Right. So right now my grandmother's putting a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan, and I'm getting the chicken cutlets ready. So now from, uh, from the bath that the chicken is in, we're gonna move the chicken from the bath over to, to the chicken cutlet. Go ahead. And as you can see, we're using just a flat plate. That way we have a lot of surface area. As you can see, she's got the motion down. You throw the chicken on top, make sure that it's bathed perfectly with the breadcrumb. We have a very interesting way of communicating, my grandmother and I. I grew up in a Sicilian family, and we spoke a lot of Italian at home. You know, my Italian that I speak to her is very much like a homemade Italian. Oh, well, we get the point across to each other. 50 anni, 50 anni passate. E e e manco sa chiudere una parola. She says she's been here for 50 years and she doesn't speak one word of English. Voi che Italia people. Home itate Italia people. And storo Italia people. That's it. <laughs> um, so yeah, typically you would see this fried up on the kitchen counter or, or fried up inside a, uh, a shallow setup, but uh, we do it in the oven. Aspetta, aspetta. Okay, okay. Ora, ora ci dice che se ci metto un poco roglio d'oliva sopra. All right. So first she puts some oil on, and then she puts some oil on afterwards as well. So what I love about this is right now she's using the Aunt Jemima syrup bottle with the olive oil. And here in Nona's kitchen, everything is very functional, as you can see. Once the syrup is done, it gets filled up with olive oil. She presets it at 350 degrees, and then right before she throws it in, she cranks it up another 100 degrees. Amen. All right, so we got the oven cranked up to 450, and we're going to put it in the middle. No, Amen. Perfect. No, perfect. OK. Beautiful. So this component to the dish is basically like a little lemon dressing that we make. One thing I love is that uh, she always has this 
kind of like frozen parsley at her dispense. And it's just kind of like a rough chop of parsley and she'll throw it in one of these little to-go containers that she cleans out and it's always around. And I don't know what it is about it, but every time it ends up on the food, it just tastes delicious. So basically what we do is we take some lemons, we squeeze them out, uh, a little bit of the parsley, some garlic, like all, all the, uh, all the ingredients that you'll find in a typical Italian kitchen. A lot of my family members live in the sa on the same block. Um, and I grew up in a house right across the street. And then we moved out to Long Island. And we would often kind of come back and spend our weekends here with my grandmother. But the second that we got here, there was always a huge feast on the table. And, you know, uh, that definitely kind of came with me and kind of turned me into a cook. I know a lot of cooks are inspired by their grandparents. But I mean, if it wasn't for my grandmother, I wouldn't be cooking right now. And I could say that 100%. Pero tu te piquetí, nona. Come? Tu te, yo coche piquetí. Porque yo vire tu coche para tu te familia. Porque a nona ci piace a cocere, me padre ci piaceva a cocere, me non, un nonno, un bel nonno, un bel nonno. Ci piaceva a cocere. E Francesco ci piace a cocere. I thank you for that. Mwah. Ok, Francesco. Ora ci mette antichia black pepe, antichia oregano. Dice oregano è dell'Italia, di Nitale. So, dice, so dice. this is a, it's just a generic bottle that she has. So very often I'll come over and my grandmother will have all these uh, amazing like things here from Italy. So right now basically what we have here, the lemon juice in one bowl and the mixture in the other. And I'm going to let my grandmother mix them all together. She worked for Oscar de la Renta sewing dresses. And the Oscar de la Renta. And Francesco era lì, lì, lì. Francesco faise e appigherò per nonna and the fattoria. And I vividly remember it, walking in and seeing my grandmother, you know, sitting in a line of uh, sewing machines, kind of sewing dresses and stuff like that. She's going to have me bring out the chicken right now just to kind of check on it. Good you could see them, you could see them frying up. They got that nice golden brown edge around them. We're gonna flip them, throw them back in, just get them a little bit more crispy. Poco poco buono. A little bit of time, a couple poco, more poco. minutes. Come si sabe con i gudoletti sono fonute? Come, ah? Come? Ne giravo uno e Luca di Baramo. Quando di Baramo si ok, take it off. Ora vogliono essere a little bit. <laughs> That's 90 years of experience, y'all. We got merchandise for the Pinello family here. Yeah, who is that on the apron? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Isabella. You say Isabella. Ancora Olivia Ongera. <laughs> Olivia vino dopo. There's many pictures of the family and uh, sort of all the special occasions that we've had, so there's no shortage of photographs. It, it brings back a lot of memories every time I come back down here. Okay, Francesco, stay attento. Okay. Pigliate cose e mette qua. You could smell the cheese, you could smell the parsley, all that good stuff. Oh, really? A lot of this stuff at Best Pizza was inspired by, like, the food that I grew up eating. The grandma pizza, which has plum tomato sauce and anchovies in it, and the Sicilian oregano is very much an ode to my grandmother and to the food that we ate here. Straight from the uh, hot pan, bathed in a little bit of the um, lemon juice oil, the dressing that we made, and then right into the pan. To me, this is like the step that makes these chicken cutlets like really good. Just hits it with that delicious lemon and garlic sauce. And here we are, folks. Chicken cutlets, Don Pinello style. Finish, beautiful cotolet. Eh, viva Santa Fortunata. Viva Santa Fortunata. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my grandmother's send off all the time is Viva Santa Fortunata. That's a, that's a scene from that town. Yeah. So, so you want to say hello? Now can we eat? Yeah, we can eat now. You got it. Well, usually it starts with a bowl of pasta, and then all the dishes start rolling out. And uh, yeah, I mean, we eat like this all the time. Fishimo i cotoletti di chicken, pasta casarsa, arricchiocche e a cucuzza a squash roast. Anytime that it's a family affair and we're all here, 
we're all eating. My grandmother loves to cook, but one other thing that you need to know oh, about Nana gamble. is my grandmother loves to gamble, yeah. and she loves her scratch-off tickets. So being a good grandson that I am, and a slot machine. I know how to I know how to make my grandmother happy. I don't come, and I don't show up unless I got oh, some scratch offs oh, and all. You know, Nana. Thank you. Thank you. Know you know who loves you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh hell yeah, what are you doing? She understands every game. She knows the games like the back of her hand. This is non at her best. Facciamo primo chi da chi da grande. Vinte dollari, nove. Vero. Tony Dale, Tony Dale. Tony Dale, sei. Sì che sei e nine. Tony Dale, Tony Dale. Tony Dale. That never happens. That never happens. Tony Dale, Tony Dale. The first one. Mi va sempre fortunata. Quarante. Oh, Nadja, Nadja, Nadja Ricci. Twenty-eight and twenty-six. Twenty-six is ten, and nine is twenty. Ooh, Tony Dale. Forty-five dollar. There it is. Let it make it rain, Nona. Make it rain. Yeah, munchies brings luck. There we go with the winning tickets. With my grandfather and my grandmother really have done a lot for for the family, and we're very grateful and we appreciate everything they've done for us. We realize how hard they work to get us here, and we feel like you know now it's our job to take it to the next level. So. Okay, fanno mangiare ora. C'è il frigo. Shut up and eat. You gotta eat. You gotta eat. You gotta eat. You gotta eat. Ma. I love you, nonna. I love you too. Grazie per tutto, nonna. Okay, nonna. Come on, folks. This is this is 80s mullet at its best. <laughs> Before and after. Welcome to Bensonhurst, right here. Va bene. Quando io era bianca era beautiful. She said when she was young she was beautiful and she's laughing. A, a bellissima nonna ora. Still beautiful. Yeah. Wow. <laughs>